Big Dreams Homestead. Big Dreams Homestead features Anne Marie and her family from time to time as she builds her shed to house and other homestead projects. Big Dreams Homestead tries to keep viewers updated on the process, but sometimes there's too much work to do and edit videos. What YouTuber doesn't understand that? Anne Marie also does live streams, so keep that bell on if you want to chat with her and other members of the Homestead community. Trust me, they're there. What do you do when you want your cat to live indoors and still feel safe outdoors? Is it even possible? Anne Marie decided to create a catio. Anne Marie also does product reviews and mail calls. Big Dream Homestead built an amazing trash to treasure. She built a chicken coop from pallets. Yeah, basically scrap wood. And even though there there is like editing, she produced the videos in a way to show how to do the entire project, you know, for you frugal minded chicken coop lovers. While you're outside, check out Anne Marie's Straw Bell Gardening Method. Straw Bell Gardening is a great way of containing plants in cooler climates because of how warm the straw can get. Okay, so we know where the cats play, we know where the chickens lay, but where does Anne Marie plan to stay? <laughs> that was good, right? <laughs> She's got it covered in a bag of chips. She's literally up in the attic like a raccoon. When you convert basically a skeleton shed into a livable tiny house, you know every nook and cranny. Those nooks and crannies don't look that tiny, though. <laughs> look at the cat. It's so going to climb that post. Did it? The video is there for the watching. Oh, and did the DIY composting toilet work? Why didn't Anne Marie do a fantastic unboxing of another composting toilet? A tiny house with two loos? The mystery runs as deep as the... <laughs> compost, I guess. But it's all there on Big Dreams Homestead for you to dig in it and find out. Blue Wave Odyssey. Blue Wave Odyssey is a travel by RV channel where they take viewers to famous and not so well-known attractions and meetups with other YouTubers. Then there are the live streams where they do mostly RV channel shoutouts. There's also live trivia and giveaways that anybody can participate in, you know, as long as you follow the rules. RVing with Blue Wave Odyssey leads viewers down very interesting and entertaining roads and into some really cool experiences. I know my bucket list is drooling. If you ever wondered what it would be like to live on the road in an RV, the fun times, the not-so-fun side of it, and learn a little along the way, like, what is mooch docking? Like, really? That's a word? Blue Wave Odyssey may be the RV lifestyle channel for you. Hashtag Lazy Pond Farm. Wait, <laughs> is it hashtag Lazy Pond Farm or pound Lazy Pond Farm? Oh, we'll just call them Lazy Pond Farm. Why do they call it Lazy Pond Farm? That, mm, yeah. Oh, now here we go. Lazy Pond Farm features smooth talk in farmsteader Kevin and his family, living out their dream of farm chores and outdoor adventures on the acreage that includes a fish-filled pond. But fish is not all that lives in Lazy Pond. There's a turtle that probably has a name that Kevin is too embarrassed to tell us, and there are some beautiful rat snakes on Lazy Pond Farm. It must be tough for a snake to make an honest living out there on the pond. Seems like they've resorted to stealing goose eggs. If you all want to see this brave outdoorsman try to wrangle a snake, <laughs> it's an incredibly funny video. Actually, a couple of funny videos. He should get one of those stickers like, like they give you when you drink too many milkshakes right before trying to donate blood. You know, the, the ones that say, I tried. <laughs> Why does he have to just sit by and watch others who aren't afraid of a teeny little rat snake catch it and save the day? Here, Kevin. You do something more suited to your ability. Pet those bunnies. Yeah. 
Hey, you want to talk abilities? Lazy Pond Farm has some really cool projects like this DIY gigantic kidney stone. <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> Tell us, Lazy Pond Farm, what was your inspiration? But Kevin is so handy, he made a really nice rabbit hutch. And what about that quail waterer? Lazy Pond Farm does raise quail also, you know. He makes a mean fried quail egg sandwich with that medieval torture device. Speaking of torture, Ridge Life played guitar on one of Lazy Pond Farm's many live panels. You want to chat with other Lazy Pond Farm viewers? Hit that bell so you don't miss it. You can even show up in your bathrobe. We miss you, Riley Homestead. Those lives are always a lot of fun, except the ones in the middle of the night on the pond fishing. But you might like that kind of thing. I mean, I'm going to be honest. When I first saw the title Catfishing Harris Lake, I honestly thought that he was like live streaming himself tricking somebody named Harris Lake. You know, catfishing, the, the slang term for it. But back to the farm, back to the farm. Kevin's DIYs are really easy to follow and he makes even the most tool shy person feel very capable of completing necessary homestead tasks. Like this one. How do we keep our goats from getting their heads stuck in the fence again, Kevin? Oh, <laughs> uh, I guess that's one way to do it. <laughs> that crockpot chili does look delicious. Is not the goat in there, you guys, okay? To see what happened at the fence, though, you might want to check that video out. Speaking of goats, Lazy Pond Farm runs the best bovine fitness program in North Carolina. His goats know how to use medicine balls. Why do they call them that anyway? Look at her go! You never know what the camera will produce at Lazy Pond Farm. Check them out. Shed to tiny house dream building. Full-time RV lifestyle. East Carolina homesteading for the almost brave. Are these your people?